Hello Cancers, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Cross Watchers, okay? So if you're a Cross Watcher, this could be your energy or the Cancer you're watching for. How have you guys been doing? It's been a minute since I've done any of the Zodiac readings while I'm catching up the last couple days. So we're going to tap into Cancers and see what is currently going on for you. Cancer energy. Five of Wands. Conflict here. Perhaps fighting with those around you. Fighting with yourself. Opposing energies. Could also be like outside influences I'm hearing. Affecting a relationship. Two of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you guys are just kind of... Oh no, this is Seven of Pentacles reversed. You feel like something isn't working okay you don't feel like investing the time in something someone doesn't feel like investing the time in you i don't want to say that but we have aquarius energy the fool i feel like someone here is just like ready to say f it i'm taking off i don't care anymore i'm tired of fighting i'm tired of investing all this time and energy into something that's just not going anywhere and it's also like you want a fresh new beginning or someone here wants a new beginning they're ready to take a risk take a risk make a change and break away i channel songs so that song just came through i'll spread my wings and i'll learn how to fly six of wands reverse you've been really down for a long time i feel like you feel like you've lost your confidence you feel like um things just aren't working out you feel like everything you try is just uh, it's not going the way you want it to all right, what else is going on? Let's see the person you're dealing with, Cancer. What is the energy of the person you're dealing with? Eight of Swords reversed. I feel like this person's very confused. Um, they're very torn in their mind. They're not really sure. We do have Leo, okay? This could be someone that's on the Cancer Leo cusp. They also hold back to a Cups reversed. Two of Cups reverse is like there's an emotional disconnect here with you and them, okay? You could be dealing with a Pisces, I'm hearing as well, because the fish here. Um, this person holds back emotionally, though. It's because they're very mentally, maybe not even, like, stable. Um, their pride also keeps them from emotionally connecting. So this person could have, an e like, an ego issue. Yeah, there's definitely something with ego, because Six of Wands is also ego. This person has a control issue as well, okay? They're holding on tight to, I don't, I, I feel like their vulnerability, like they don't want to be vulnerable. Yeah, and they're not trusting, they're guarded. They almost make you feel like you're doing something wrong, but it's really their own issues. And there's a little bit of immaturity here. They definitely could be a Leo or um, Sagittarius or Aries. Uh, this person also maybe likes their freedom. They, they're they immature, though. I just feel like they're kind of all over the place. Um, this person has a lot of growing up to do, the person that you're dealing with, for sure. Let's get a couple more energies. Ten of Swords reversed. And the Hierophant reverse Taurus energy. And Ten of Pentacles on the bottom here. This person is healing from something. It could have even been like a marriage or something that didn't work out. Um, I also feel like they, someone cheated or there was like a lack of commitment where they thought there was commitment or someone thought there was a commitment. So the person you're dealing with, I feel like is very emotionally closed off for sure. Let's get, um, from the Starseed Oracle. Actually, I'm going to get from here and all things intuitive messages of love. Two cards, I mean one card from each to clarify each other. Deep cellular healing, Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. Okay, so someone here is physically and emotionally healing. Also, they're trying to get their stability with this Ten of Pentacles here. They're trying to get grounded. This is from All Things Intuitive.
time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. So this healing can only happen with the time apart, okay? This person might be thinking of things with this time apart. This time apart might help them realize, you know, whether they can move forward with you or not. Um, I'm going to pull from my relationship design cards that I created. These are available on makeplancards.com. I'm usually not very good with posting the links, but I'll try to. What other energies are here for cancer? Growth, expansion, spirituality, upgrading. So this situation is helping you grow. It could be really triggering for you. Relax, calm after the storm, flow and at ease. Maybe this is an area you need to grow in. It's just letting go, letting things flow, okay? Distance, door closed, left gone we have distance here so two things about distance this person leaving you is actually helping you grow let's see what they want to communicate to you these are two decks from all things intuitive combined um the in the shadows and the hidden truth oracle all right cancers what does this person want to communicate to you both the in the shadows cards I got. I hope you're happy for me. And what did you want from me? This person's very guarded, this person you're dealing with. And they're kind of selfish as well. Those are shadow decks. That is the shadow deck, so they're going to be more shadowy. Hopefully I could get some from the other deck. Let's see. Okay. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. This interesting because we had growth here so there is definitely a spiritual connection that you have with this person i couldn't tell you face to face that's that immature kind of cowardly energy i was talking about i wonder if you are happy without me there's things about i hope you are happy for me and i wonder if you are happy without me i hope you're happy <laughs> What is this? There's so much about happiness. This person has a fear of like not being happy. Perhaps there's someone who just likes to gloss things over. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy for me. And I wonder if you are happy without me. That is crazy. I left when I saw you with someone. This person has major insecurities. I feel like this right here is the most telling part of this whole reading. This person's insecurities got the best of them. That's what it is, guys. And then they were just gone. All right, so Cancers, I hope this reading resonates with you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.